The new iPhone 15 Pro Max looks like it'll be Apple's next top phone. The so-called iPhone Ultra might not come out until 2024. As the biggest and most fully featured iPhone in the line, the iPhone 15 Pro Max could make a splash on our list of the best phones and set a new standard for smartphones to follow. So what kind of changes can we hope for? You could see changes like a powerful new 3 nanometer A17 Bionic chip, a periscope lens with twice as much zooming power, a stronger titanium design, and more. Here are all the rumors and leaked information about the new iPhone 15 Pro Max. How much the iPhone 15 Pro Max will cost? We thought that the price of the iPhone 15 Pro Max would be about the same as the price of the iPhone 14 Pro line. So, a 1TB device starts at $1,599 or £1,749 or AU2769, and a 128GB device starts at $1,099, £1,199 or AU1899. All of that could change if the rumor that the price of the iPhone 15 Pro Max will go up by $200 is true. We've heard that the price of the iPhone 15 Pro will go up. The iPhone 15 Pro is likely to cost $100 more. But the Max settings might be hotter. If this is true, the most basic iPhone 15 Pro Max could cost a huge $1,300, and the most expensive 1TB version could cost $1,800. This would make it the most expensive iPhone ever. If this price hike goes through, Apple will have to explain why the iPhone 15 Pro Max is worth more money. The iPhone 15 Pro Max Look and Screen Some people think that Apple's iPhones will have more rounded sides than they've had in the past. If this is true, the iPhone 15 Pro Max could look different. Leaks of the iPhone 15 dummy units, which show rounded edges and other supposed design changes like the addition of both USB-C and an action button, back up this claim iPhone 15s that don't work. We've also heard that Apple may make the borders on the iPhone 15 Pro Max the smallest of any smartphone on the market. This is backed by the fact that 9to5Mac has made models of the iPhone 15 Pro Max from every angle. The website says that the borders could be as thin as 1.5 millimeters. The new iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max images from Ice Universe back up this size. The iPhone 15 Pro is likely to be the only one with a periscope zoom camera, so the Pro Max may have a smaller bump for the camera. The images also show that the Pro and the Pro Max will have solid-state buttons instead of mechanical ones and a new red color. Some sources say that this year, Apple will make the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max in a unique color called Deep Red. We expect more reserved versions of the gold, silver, and space gray or black colors from older Pro iPhones to come back. Titanium could be used to make the frame of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. This could lead to an iPhone Pro Max that's stronger and lighter at the same time. We think this would be a great improvement over the current stainless steel edges, which are easy to chip. One theory says that the Apple 15 Pro versions will have an action button like the one on the Apple Watch Ultra. The button could be changed just like the one on the Apple Watch Ultra. This Apple Watch Ultra action can start workouts, act as a timer, use the Wayport and Backtrack features, give you a quick way to use the Dive feature, turn on the watch's flashlight, and do other custom actions. People expect the action button on the iPhone 15 Pro to do similar things but with a focus on phone-centric features. The iPhone 15 Pro Max Cameras the iPhone 15 Pro Max will have a main camera, an ultra-wide camera, and a zoom camera, just like the iPhone 14 Pro Max. We have no problem with the iPhone 14 Pro Max being one of our best camera phones. Improvement reports don't agree. A state-of-the-art Sony camera was said to be in the iPhone 15. A new triple-stacked sensor could be more than an inch wide and make pictures that are brighter and have more colors. Another tech source says that the main camera sensor on the iPhone 16 Pro will be bigger, while a leaker says that the main camera sensor on the iPhone 15 Pro Max will be the same as the one on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. An Apple expert named Ming-Chi Kuo thinks that the iPhone 15 Pro Max will have a periscope telephoto lens. This lens would use optical optics to increase the camera's zoom range without cropping or digital amplification. The iPhone 15 Pro Max may have a 6x periscope zoom, which is twice as powerful as the iPhone 14 Pro Max. The iPhone 15 Pro Max digital zoom is unknown, but it will be more than the iPhone 14 Pro Max 15x. Unknown Z21 said on Twitter that the periscope lens on the iPhone 15 Pro Max would be unique. 
It might come to the iPhone 16 Pro next year. It could really take off. This would make it possible for the iPhone 15 Pro Max to change the amount of magnification without a digital zoom or a separate camera. Apple seems to be swapping the ultra-wide and telephoto cameras on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max, even though the periscope zoom lens is only on the Pro Max. Quo also said that the iPhone 15 Pro would have an 8P main lens to make photos with a wider angle less distorted. But Apple switched to a 7P lens for the iPhone 14 Pro, which makes this fact less likely. Some versions of the iPhone 15 Pro could have an updated LiDAR sensor to improve speed and save energy. That could improve the iPhone's battery life, portrait shots, and augmented reality apps by making it better at detecting distance and scanning rooms. The specs for the iPhone 15 Pro Max and A17 Bionic chip. Like many other Pro iPhones before it, the iPhone 15 Pro Max seems to be getting a new A-series chip, possibly the A17 Bionic. You can expect more power from CPUs and GPUs, as well as improvements in machine learning and neural processing. These will power smart features like Siri and computational photos. Theoretically, the new device could be made with TSMC 3 nanometer technology, which would give it more power and also make it more efficient. One rare story says that TSMC may switch from an older 3 nanometer process to a newer 3 nanometer process in 2024. This could change how much the phone costs and how well it works. Memory should also get bigger, with the iPhone 15 Pro Max possibly having 8GB of LPDDR5 RAM. Since the iPhone 14 Pro Max isn't slow, this extra speed probably won't be obvious, but it could be a nice boost. In terms of connections, Ming-Chi Kuo thinks that the iPhone 15 will have Wi-Fi 6E. The iPhone 15 Pro Max's battery life and how it charges. There have been no reports about how long the iPhone 15 Pro Max's battery will last, but with the new 3 nanometer chip, even if the phone stays at a 4,323 milliampere hours, we expect it to use less energy. In a battery test, the iPhone 14 Pro Max surfed the web non-stop until the battery died. This took 13 hours and 39 minutes. That's good enough to get on our list of phones with the best battery life. So we think that the iPhone 15 Pro Max will be the same or maybe even better. Since the Galaxy S23 Ultra only has a 5000 mAh cell, we'd like to see a bigger power pack. The iPhone 14 Pro Max can charge at 20 watts, which is fast, but not as fast as the Galaxy S23 Ultra and OnePlus 11, which can only charge at 80 watts in the US, which can charge at 100 watts. We hope Apple figures out a way for its next iPhones to charge faster with USB-C, as the rumor of 27-watt charging says. One story says that the iPhone 15 family could get a better Qi 2 wireless charging system, which would let the phones charge at 15-watt speeds. That's more than twice as fast as the 7.5-watt rate at which the iPhone 14 charges. With an increase of this size, the iPhone 15 Pro Max might be able to charge wirelessly faster and more like the fastest Android phones. Thanks for watching this video.